Hi guys, so before I get into sharing my testimony, I wanted to give this opportunity for any of you who want to share your testimonies. About a year ago, I made a website where people can upload their testimonies, and it honestly makes me so emotional reading through them. So if that's you and you want to share, link is in the caption. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, my name is Sydney, and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, I post videos about my faith and just my general lifestyle, and yeah, I just it's a fun thing that I started this year. So if you're new, I'm so glad that you clicked on this video because I am, this is a big video for me because I'm going to share my testimony. And for those of you who don't know, I wasn't actually raised Christian. So this is definitely, um, it, Christianity, just like my journey with it has been very, very like detailed and so much has been put into it in order for me to become who I am today. So, um, it might be a little bit longer, but I really want to take the time to kind of like show you how Christ has moved in my life and maybe if you're a new Christian as well, this maybe can inspire you or whatever. I don't know. I just, I feel like you clicked on this video for a reason. And yeah, I just hope that the Holy Spirit will just move through me in this video. So my testimony. So um, like I mentioned before, I didn't actually grow up Christian. I um, grew up with my parents being divorced and um, I ba with basically with both of them, I went to church with like Easter and Christmas and that was pretty much it. Um, there wasn't really God talked about in the house. It was kind of just like at church if we went and when we had family over we would but it was definitely not part of our lifestyle. And so I grew up kind of not knowing who God was, who Jesus was. Like I vaguely knew that people believed in the God and that he had like power and stuff but I didn't really see it as something that could be personal. So um, as we get on to my, me growing up, I enter elementary school and that was oddly enough, now thinking back, I remember kids would just walk up to me and say, hey, do you believe in God? And it was so weird to me because I'm like, what the, who, why are you, like, I, I felt like almost like a, I don't know, like a ward, like, oh, do you believe in God? Like you're put in this other section. And I did not understand that. I was like, what in the world? Um, so I would always just kind of brush it off. And I'm sure at some point I probably asked my parents more about it, but they didn't mention anything that I truly remembered. So yeah, anyways, um, so that was elementary school. I was just kind of like introduced to it, I guess. And then in middle school, that is when it started being more impressional to me, I guess. Um, I could see so many different people um, who just kind of walked around and had this style of faith that was so different than what I'd ever seen. They were loving people who like weren't in their friend groups. Like, I mean, I guess most people could just see it as being a nice human, but for me, something clicked and I saw it as more than that. I saw it as they had a purpose, they had a calling, like they were living life on like anyone else that I've ever met. And so, yeah, they were just, I wanted to be like them. I wanted to have that joy and peace going into a test um, and just knowing that there is something greater than everything that is going to be watching over. Um, and I thought that was really interesting. So, um, yeah, I guess it was just random people who meant things to me and um, I would just see them and I would want to know why they were. And then days went on and I started realizing that they were Christians and that they went to church and wore cross necklaces and I made these connections. And I started to get a lot more interested. I looked up on Google and I just kind of like, kind of just almost got introduced to it um, by my own learnings. Um, and so then we grew on to a little bit later when my parents got, uh, my parents got remarried. So my dad remarried first and he remarried um, my, who's now my stepmom now. And the biggest thing with her is that she definitely wasn't um, Christian and she was, um, I would say she's definitely more atheist in how I viewed it. She didn't really mention God and she definitely was opposed to it in some ways. And so immediately I felt that that was, when we, we didn't go to Christian church there and we definitely, it was like the opposite side of the spectrum. And so re being raised in that household was very different, even from what I was growing up with. Like it wasn't just that we were not knowing who God was, it was that we were knowing about him in a bad way almost. Um, and just a man in the sky who, you know, hurts people and betrays people. And she definitely had a hard uprising in the church. So there was reasoning for that, but it was just kind of hard for me to grow up in that way. And then my stepmom, or sorry, and then my mom remarried to my stepdad, um, 
probably when I was like 15 maybe um, and he was definitely Christian and we would go to church every day or every Sunday at least um, for a while after that and I joined a youth group at that church and it was really cool just to kind of like be more involved in Christianity and learn more about it and so like I said I went to that church and at my dad's house I wasn't really going to a church it was Universal Universalist Unitarian or Unitarian Universalist I get the mix up but point is you can look it up if you want more information but basically it wasn't very it's not a Christian church like it's very much like you have your own beliefs so it didn't really go against anything that I believed um, at that point because I was just kind of like figuring out what I was who I would wanted to believe um, but it was definitely different than my dad's side so that was interesting growing up with that contrast and or different definitely different than my mom's side so growing up with that contrast was a little bit confusing but it also gave me options which I found was interesting as I was growing in my faith um, so yeah I guess so I went to church a lot more and then um, with my mom's side and after a while um, I found we changed searches to this one um, that I went through all of high school and it was very community it was like if I had to pick one word for that church it was community just put to put into perspective the youth group there which was split up into middle school high school and now college is where I'm in right at the moment but um in the high school one there was like I <laughs> like a single church service which had their own separate church service just for high school, which I, that was new to me. But there was at least like, I gotta say like 100, maybe 200 at sometimes. At least that's how it felt. Like it was just a community of people surrounded by people who loved and trusted God and like knew him personally. And that was, that was insane. So every Sunday we would go and worship together and I just made so many cool friends. I went to a life group there and I meet with girls my age um, every weekend or every weekday. No, every Wednesday, I think. Um, and we would just talk about God and it felt so welcoming. As someone who wasn't really knowing who Christ was, just having that community where I could go and feel safe and ask questions, that was everything. And so, um, yeah, I spent the rest of my high school going from my dad's house to my mom's house every other week and going to different churches every week. Um, but at this point, my faith was very strong in Christianity and I knew that that was what I wanted to do in the future. And, um, it was definitely hard. And at some point, um, my dad found out that this was what I was feeling and it definitely caused a little bit of conflict, I would say, but, um, I, I mean, this was who I am now. And so it was very refreshing to like feel that and to know that this is part of me and it's not just something that I grew up knowing about it actually was part of me and so um yeah so around this time also I met Maylee and Maylee was now that I've had time to think and look back she has been so important in my walk with Christ um from the very beginning like we met and she was the one who actually invited me to a Christian, um, to a carnival at her church. And I was a little bit apprehensive about going, but I ended up doing it. And, um, yeah, during this time, there was a lot of little instances where I felt closer to God. And so I, looking back, I didn't really have one single thing that led me to God. It was more like a lot of different things, but the carnival was definitely one of them. And I really just grew stronger in relationship with Maylee. And then she led me closer to Christ. Um, at my dad's house, I would go to church with her and, uh, and it was just like a really cool relationship with Jesus, you know? Um, and so, yeah, we became best friends and I would say definitely at this point, it was more of a friendship than like a faith friendship. Cause like faith was really important in her life. And one thing that was really different is that she grew up her whole entire life being the faith and being raised in it. And so I was definitely felt at home in her family as well because I was kind of like a second sibling there to be honest and um you know it was really cool just to be part of that experience okay and then we get to this part where like junior and senior year of college I really grew in my faith personally I would go to church on Sundays with the um giant youth group church and but then on you know the weekdays I would have more intention to personally read my bible and go into it and I'm going to be honest, this time was so hard. I got tempted. I was so, I felt like I wasn't Christian enough and that I, there were certain things that were stopping me from it. And it was like three years into my relationship with Christ and I still felt like there was something missing and like I wasn't doing it right. Um, and so, but we'll see here in, when I was in junior year of college, 
junior year of high school, sorry about that, uh, I kind of felt this feeling of wanting to share the gospel. I've heard it done before. I knew what missionaries were like, I knew that was a thing. And I don't even know what wanted me to share Christ because at that point, like I said, I was so low self-esteem in my relationship with Christ. Like I did not think I was qualified for any of that. But for some reason, I just kept feeling this push to like share the gospel and to find some way to just make his name known in a bigger scale. Um, and also at this time, I had seen, let's see, I think I saw Jesus Loves Coffee. Um, that was one account that I really saw. And then there was another girl in my hometown who also started a Christian account. But as far as that, that was pretty much it. It was not a very heard of thing. But for some reason, I was like, you know what? I got to do this. So I texted mainly and I told her my idea. I have the screenshot still. I need to find it though. But I basically was like, hey, you know what we should do? We should start a Christian account together talking about Jesus. And like three seconds later, she was like, yes. And so I come over to her house and we plan all of the details. We're big planners. And so within like the first hour after this, we've created a username, all this stuff. Like it just went from there. And so um, I loved her enthusiasm and just the fact that she didn't know what she was doing. I didn't know what I was doing, but together like, we knew God had a plan and we trusted it. Um, and at this point, we were honestly just doing it for fun. And I don't know, it was cool to be able to share our faith because she'd been Christian all her life and never felt like she had that opportunity and I didn't have that opportunity. So, um, yeah, so we created Big Day Journaling and that happened in about the end of my junior year. So right when COVID was starting and it was just kind of a way for us to share our faith and it was very small at the beginning. Um, yeah, I was like, I remember being that stage when we were so happy to reach 100 followers. Like that was the best day ever. And then Later, we learned that it isn't about followers and we started to grow in a relationship with Christ, which was very different because I honestly wasn't expecting to grow personally in my relationship with Christ. I was thinking it was more going to be pushed out knowledge and like learning from others, but it was, I cannot even explain how much has happened in the last year, just meeting new people and growing in my relationship with Christ. And it's really been changed everything for me. So. Yeah, so now I guess this is kind of where I am today. Um, I realized that like June-ish of this year, about a year after starting Big Day Journaling, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't think I've ever been baptized. And that was a really weird feeling for me because most people in the Bible, you know, they talk about how Bible, or they talk about how being baptized isn't necessary to be saved, but it's how you share your relationship with others. And at this point, I was not really comfortable with sharing my relationship with Christ in person, which is really odd for someone who has had a social media account growing for a year, you know? Um, but it was just, I've always wanted to get baptized and it was like three days before my um, retreat for senior girls retreat. And I was just like, you know what, this, this is gonna happen. Like it's at this resort. I know they have a hot tub there. Like I'm getting baptized in that hot tub. And I knew it like, like I knew nothing. And I hadn't even gotten an answer back from my youth group leader and I will get into more of the details in the next video a week later from today um, about my whole entire story of my baptism but it was a really special moment for me um, and it kind of took a step into not only sharing my faith publicly but also kind of changing the kind of like your fresh start I guess um, to how my faith personally was going and so yeah I that is my testimony and it is definitely not over there is so much to it that is being changed I could break my testimony up to even just this week and start a new testimony like that's one of the beautiful things about testimonies is that it's it's ever changing um even though we have a constant god like he is working in our lives daily and i could yeah i could probably make this video like 24 hours long just talking about all the things god has brought me through um but at the end of the day i just hope that you whoever you are you realize that your testimony is valued and that no matter what has happened in your life, maybe you were born Christian and you've been Christian all your life, or maybe you weren't. Either way, that, that testimony, that story is valuable. And um, yeah, share it with the world because you never know how it could impact someone. You never know how it could change their lives. So yeah, I guess that's just it. If you guys have any questions about my testimony or anything, get, getting involved with a youth group, whatever, I'm here for you. And I really love this community that we've made. So I hope that this video encouraged you and um, yeah, it really encouraged me. So anyways, I hope, yeah. <laughs> hope you have a great day and bye.